These Phoenix police officers are on their way to an alley where an armed robbery suspect has a gun to his head, challenging the other cops already on scene. The unpredictable nature of this situation is creating danger for everyone involved. And that is why it's so important for the specially trained officer to be here. All right, uh, you are responding uh, as backup. It's a tactical training day for these officers at the Phoenix Regional Police Academy. Many of them are learning how to use several less than lethal tools, which are now available department wide. We are tasked with trying to find ways to eliminate, reduce, do everything we can to de-escalate situations. Assistant Chief Brian Chapman oversaw a pilot program for these tools, which over the course of several years provided the city of Phoenix enough information to authorize the program being used today. What we like to do with these less lethal tools is that we like to be farther away and get that person to comply to what we're asking them to do so we don't have to put hands on someone and we don't have to get into those force encounters. Drop the gun. These tools include a 40 millimeter launcher and a pepper ball system, both designed to reduce the use of deadly force in high stress situations. And the decision to deploy these options citywide required not only updated policy, but input on the policy from various community groups. It is bridging divides between communities and law enforcement. Having community members know about policy changes and then going a step further than that, being involved. There are now roughly 400 of these less than lethal tools in use by trained Phoenix police officers, which brings us back to this alley in Phoenix, where one of them is operating a 40 millimeter launcher. Hey, stay there. The foam projectile hits the suspect, causing him to drop the gun. I know it hurts, and we want to get to the fire department. Walk towards me. Do not reach for that gun. Keep your hands up. And allowing officers to move in safely without major injury to anyone involved. Finding areas where we can improve and we can hopefully work together better with the community for these positive outcomes.